There's a dance going on in there. Lucy, you and Dave going and wait. We're going down to the saloon to pick up that new car hand we hired. But I, I don't want to go in there. I'm not dressed to go to a dance. Don't give me no back talk. Go on in. Maybe we will be back soon. Pedro will dance with the Senorita Lucy, no? Come on, Lucy. You'll be the best looking girl there, even if you ain't all dressed up. Come on. All right. Come on, Lucy. We can't stand around out here. Let's go in. Well, look who's here. I wonder who that dame is. Better lay off, big boy. That's Black Bart's daughter, and he's plain poison. Well, she's mighty pretty, though. She's got a lot of nerve coming in here amongst respectable people. I wonder who invited her anyway. All you people get your furnace for a Paul Jones. <laughs> I wish there wasn't playing so I could dance with you. Oh, Davey, that's all right. You know, I really don't like to dance. Oh, Davey, look. So you are the great Sonny Karn, these bad gunmen. Yes, I'm Sonny Karn. My business is running wet cattle out of the country. If that's what you want to talk about, okay. You got anything else on your mind? Make your play. I'll send for you. I got a thousand head I want pushed across the line. You was recommended for the job. What's in your bark? This fellow, this famous killer, he is only a muchacho. This is a man's job. I said my business was moving stolen cattle. For amusement, I sometimes shoot the ears off the hombres that get too personal. You? You would insult Pedro Gonzalez? Shut up, Pedro. We come here to talk business, not start a fight. Billy the Kid, the greatest gunfighter of them all, was nothing but a punk. 
You can't judge a man by his looks. You remember that, Pedro. We'll get along better. Let's hear your proposition, Dunstan. Man, that's highway robbery. Well, that's my proposition. Take it or leave it. Here we go to all the rest of rustling the cattle and hiding them out. And all you have to do is drive them over into Mexico and sell them, and you won't have. Listen, you. Any fool can rustle a few cows. Nowadays, it takes a high-powered guy to run them across the border and sell them. But how do we know these hombres will give us anything? Because I say I'll split. My word's good. It's all right, Pedro. Carnes is on the square. I'll send for lone cowboys, and the first stormy night I'll run them across. If they're prime cattle, I can get $20 a head. We split 50-50, right? Okay, it's a deal. Let's have a drink on it. Here's a go. <coughs> Pedro, ring for the barkeep. Well, we'll kill this, and then we'll go. How much owe you, Jack? Three dollars. Well, here's good luck, boy. Uh -oh. Well, thanks a lot, ma'am. Oh, it was wonderful. I should thank you. Say, Cy, why don't you give us a couple of steps? Oh, 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 men, I'll give you a few of her fancy steps. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, let's go see the fun. All right. <laughs>
Sometimes it's the signal, no? No. What's going on here? The Senorita Lucy, she will not dance with Pedro. She won't, huh? You'll dance with him and like it. Oh, no, she won't. What are you hoarding in here for, you saddle bump? Stop Pedro from knife in that buckaroo. I've got a contract to run some cattle over the line. And I don't want any sheriffs nosing around with warrants for murderers. Come on, let's go. Go ahead. I'll follow you. Second 
about 250 head. Not bad. Except for the longhorn. Oh, they'll stand traveling better than the short horse. They'll sell all right in Mexico. Come on. a couple of hundred head in that bunch down there. Boys, is combing the rain. For night, they ought to have a thousand head rounded up ready for you to move. These cattle come from the big spreads up north. We've got to get them out of here before they're missed. I told you I wouldn't move them until my own boys get here. Oh, you some of my boys. They're plenty good enough for this job. When I start a bunch for the border, I figure on getting there. I can't be sure of that if a go off half cocked. I'll handle the deal in my own way or not at all. Senor Bart, I will take these cattle to Mexico for you. Ah. Uh, you didn't get caught in the first border time you come to, you'd run off with the money anyway. Come on. No news from Carnage's Cowboys? Nope. But the sombre here has a message for you. A message? What is it? Oh, that's all right. Let's have it. Dick Snyder sent me out here to tell you that the association's best man is heading this way in the morning. Hmm. That'll be the third one. Well, the other two didn't have much luck. But Dick says the sheriff's swearing in a bunch of deputies. It looks like they're going to back this hombre's place pretty strong. Who is this new man? I don't know much about him. Jake said his name is Steve Donovan. And he's riding a big white horse. We'll have to see that he don't make play. You fellas beat it. I got some thinking to do. Plum reckless, Dumpsy. You have to bust something. Hey, Lucy! Muy bonita, no? Me? I could love a chiquita like that. Forget it, hombre. She ain't your kind. No? Maybe Senor Sonny like her. No. She ain't my kind either. But that ain't the point. You forget her. I mean that. This new man they're sending in here is the best they got. I don't mean to even let him get started. I got a trap all figured out for him, and I'm going to use Lucy for bait. I can't see any reason for bringing the girl in her. Why can't you leave her alone? She's my gal, ain't she? Why shouldn't she be willing to help her father? Stepfather, you mean. The boys tell me she ate you like poison for being so rotten mean to her and the boy, ever since their mother died. You keep out of my family affairs, Corn. Okay, that suits me. But I'm warning you. 
These nice, quiet little females sometimes turn out to be plum dynamite. Huh. I suppose you know a lot about females, dynamite or otherwise. Yep, I do. Well, nevertheless, Lucy's going to do what I say. She's going to lead them to Mule Craig Pass, off his guard, and you and Pedro is going to do the rest. You don't need to make Lucy do that. Just let me ride out and meet him. I'll beat him to the draw. And that's all there is to it. Good, ain't you? Plenty good. I have to fight association men every now and then. But I always fight fair. It isn't necessary for Lucy to... I'm handling this. There's been too many plain killings. We want to make this look like a justifiable homicide. You two be ready right early in the morning. Lucy! Lucy! She didn't want to come, but when I told her she's going to meet a good-looking cowpoke, she changed her mind. <laughs> After looking at you and Pedro, I reckon any young lady would like to see a human being. How about yourself? Oh, Miss Lucy don't waste any looks on me. I don't like gunmen or killers. Most of them I don't like. But I don't like cattlemen's association men either. Whenever I drop one of them, I'm paying part of a big debt. Set out the talking and come on, let's go. I got to do some thinking. From reckless again. You stay here. I'll take Lucy ahead and set the trap. Your idea is plumb crazy. Keep Miss Lucy for this. Let Pedro knife this hombre from behind. And if they catch him, let him hang, Pedro. Just full of fun, Senor Sonny. Some day. Shut up and get. Come on, Lucy. Better sit over here in the shade. Now, when you see him coming, act like you're hurt. Then holler for help. You got that straight? Yes, I remember everything you told me. Well, see that there's no slip-ups. Son of a dog barrel to be coming along pretty soon. Now, when Lucy hollers for help, you're to go to the rescue. He'll finish him. And everybody will agree that he got just what was coming to him. You're crazy to drag women into your fights. You never can tell what one of them will do. She'll do what I tell her or the kid will suffer. She knows that. Steve, my stepfather's waiting with his killer for me to lead you into his trap. Turn back and ride while you can.
But you've got to get away, Steve. You haven't a chance against those killers. All right. I'm right now to be trapped, but you're going with me. Oh, no, Steve, I can't. If I did, he'd beat Dave. And if you don't, he'll beat you. I'll go back for Dave after you're safe. Looks like something's gone wrong with your trap. Or your bait, Bart. Come on, we can catch him. You can outrun them right in double, Lucy. You go on while I hold them. What are you doing here? You didn't think I'd run off and leave you, did you? We'll circle around toward your stepfather's spread. Then I'll hide you somewhere and go back after the boy. But you can't do that, Steve. They'll shoot you on sight. We can't leave Dave with Bart now. Got him. You can't buck a rifle with six guns. Anyway, it was your show. If I'd have been running it, Donovan would have been dead by now. Yeah. She'll be back for the kid, the dirty little traitor. Knows I'll whittle the life out of him. We'll just go home and wait. Peter, ride Lucy's horse in. Better go easy, Bart. But I want your advice, I'll ask for it. Where's Lucy? Pedro, pick up all the men you can find and go out and get this Donovan hombre. Bring him back here, dead or alive. You stay here, Carnes. You'll be no good on that job. That suits me. I'm here on a cattle deal. Your family troubles don't interest me. Come on.
Maybe, Senor Sonny. If I kill this hombre Donovan, I will have La Senorita, no? No. I told you to get that out of your head and I met it. It ain't likely you'll kill Donovan. I reckon that's a man's job. And don't think about knifing me either. I'm worse poison than Donovan. You wait out here till I bring Dave back. Is he? No. You didn't kill him. But you came near enough. Why didn't you holler for help, kid? I wouldn't let him make me holler. Go away and let him alone. Button into my affairs again, are you? You can call it that. But right now I'm telling you to keep your dirty paws off of that kid. Well, I didn't need you, Corns, to run them cattle over the border, or I'd... You wouldn't do anything, you big ape. Beating up a boy and abusing a girl is your speed. If you're so good, why didn't you get Donovan this morning? Because... He's got nerve. And I kind of like a game guy. <laughs> Sonny Corn, killer and rustler, gone soft. Wait till they hear about that over the border. They'll think you've got religion. I'll have this done of a number hanging before night and Lucy looking on. Did I hear you all mention my name? You're Donovan? Yeah, that's me. I've come this time to take that boy away. Next time, I'll be coming back after you two. Can you get on a horse alone, Dave? Sure. There's one tied out in the corral. Get on him and light it out up the road. I'll be right after you. I heard what you said about the kid, Sonny Corn, and I'll be remembering when I rescue and bring you to trial. Thanks. But I reckon you won't arrest me, though. Maybe not, but I'll be trying just as soon as I get the kid and his sister to a safe place. Try it on you, please. It's been tried often enough before. Life gets pretty tiresome without you fellows after me. I'll try and keep it lively for you. Well, gents, I'll be going. See you all later. Why didn't you down him when you went for your cigarettes? You could have done it. 
Yeah, I think I could. But he promised to come back after me. I thought I'd wait till then. Ah, Senorita Lucy, you wait for Senor Donovan, maybe. But it is Pedro who comes to you. Hide the horses in the brush, amigos. We will fix a grand surprise party for Senor Donovan. All right. Now I can have the senorita, no? Sure, you can have her as soon as we're finished with Donovan. Serve her right to be married to you. 
You heard that, didn't you? I'm going to give you to Pedro. I'll show you who's boss around here. Well, you didn't come back the way you said you would. I'm kind of sorry, Donovan. No, I flopped. They'll probably finish me. You're a real man, Sonny Carnes, even if you are an outlaw. You know, I don't believe you let Dunstan do what he said with Lucy. Thanks, Donovan. I don't know what I can do. I'll teach you to tend to your own business. String you up and riddle you with bullets. You can do it, Dunstan. But there'll be others after you. We're too big for you and the law is bound to get you in the end. Well, let's get through with this, man. Trace, get a rope. I reckon Sonny's too pious to watch this. He's gone soft, boys. Bring him other two along, Pedro. We're going to hang every man that the association brings in here. Come on. Not this one, you ain't. What do you mean? I mean, I'm stopping this killing. I'm here to run a bunch of cattle into Mexico. And that means money and safety for me. You kill this fellow, I'll be hunted and maybe hung with the rest of you. I'm telling you to keep out of this. Pedro, Jack, go ahead. Don't let Carnes butt in. Look out, Sonny! Dave! Get that knife. Wait. I'll get it. Cut Donovan loose. Steady, you hombres. The first one that draws goes down. Stand aside. Thanks, Sonny. I'll remember this. Forget it. Get on your horses and ride. I'll be expecting you to hunt me up and arrest me someday. I can't leave you alone to these wolves, Sonny. Oh, they're tame enough. Go on and get going. I had to do it. 
He's going to shoot Steve. Where'd you get this gun, Dave? He took it out of my belt. He saved my life, Lucy. Fellas, I ain't got any quarrel with you. We all got to get out of here quick. If you work with me and we move fast, we can still get them longhorns across the line. There's a good split for everyone. What do you say? Let's I'm go. with you, partner. All right. Get on your horses and get those cattle together. Well, Mr. Lawman, someday we'll meet again. And you'll have to arrest me, if you can. When that happens, we'll have to fight. And may the best man win. Thanks, Sonny Khan, for what you've done. So long, amigos. Vaya con Dios. We've had a tough day, Dave. I reckon we'd better rest a few hours before we start. Thanks, Steve. We misjudged him at first, Lucy. He's one of the squarest and gamest hombres I've ever met. You know, Steve, if I hadn't met you first, I might have fallen in love with him. Gee, ain't women funny? <laughs>